In this video I'm going to show you how you can take the derivative of cos x from first principles. So let's start by looking at what first principles actually means. This is where we find the derivative f dash of x, the derivative of a function f of x, is equal to the limit as delta x tends to zero of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x. Okay, let's see what, think about what this means. So this is the value of the function at x plus delta x. So some point x shifted along by delta x. Subtract from that the value of the function at point x. So this is something like this. A distance here, delta x. This point here is f of x plus delta x. And here's f of x. So we've got like a distance here, and we're taking this distance to be inf um, tending it to zero, so making this extremely small. So essentially here we're getting a gradient. The difference between these points divided by this. Okay, it's a basic doodle that explains how this thing works. Okay, so f of x equals cos x. That's the function we're looking at. And then we want to go f of x plus delta x. So just substitute that in to here, like so, and you would get the f of x plus delta x is cos x plus delta x. So the derivative will equal the limit, just making the substitution, delta x goes to zero of cos x plus delta x minus cos x, better close the brackets here, divide that by delta x. Now we want to make this in a form that we can take limits of, so let's use a trig identity, cos u minus cos v equals minus 2 sine u plus v over 2, and then sine u minus v divided by 2. So in this case we can compare this with our expression here, so we could say that we'll let u equal cos um, u equal x plus delta x, and v will equal x. Okay, so we can make the substitution. So we can say that our cos of x plus delta x um, minus cos of x is equal to just substitute this u and v in, so we get minus 2 sine 2x plus delta x divided by 2 sine of delta x divided by 2. Now we can cancel this down a bit and write this in alternative form, so we can say that minus 2 sine x plus delta x over 2 sine delta x over 2. Okay, you see this 2 and this 2 and the 2 goes on this. And that simplifies to that. This is quite a good form for taking limits and you'll see why in a minute. So if you keep a hold of this, we're going to take this and substitute in here. Just a nice easy substitution. I'll just move on to the next page to do that. Okay, so let's do the substitution. Very simple. So we say that f dash x, our derivative, is a limit delta x goes to 0 of minus 2 sine x plus delta x over 2 sine delta x over 2 over delta x. Now we can do a trick here, we can actually move this 2 down to the bottom, and I'll show you the kind of idea behind this. And imagine we had 2a over b. This is equal to a over b over 2. And I'll just explain why. So we've got a, b over 2. See if I do it backwards you'll understand where this comes from. It's the same as of course this. a, b, that. We can just put the division here. And if we flip this we can turn that into a multiplication. So that's 2 over b, which is 2a over b. So this 
makes sense. And we can think of this whole thing here as our A, this is our B, and there is our 2. So that 2 can basically come down here. So we can rewrite this as f dash of x is equal to the limit as delta x goes to 0 of minus sine x plus delta x over 2 sine delta x over 2 all divided by delta x divided by 2. So we've moved that 2 down to the bottom. Right, we can split this so we can basically say this is the same as the limit delta x goes to 0 of minus sine of uh, sine of x plus delta x over 2 brackets in here times the limit of delta x goes to 0 of sine delta x over 2 over delta x over 2. Now there's a property associated with this limit um, which we can say that the limit as theta goes to 0 of sine theta divided by theta is equal to 1. So if we think of theta as delta x over 2, this, this expression and this expression are the same. So we can say that this whole limit is just 1. And common sense on this part, well, if delta x is going to 0, that's going to make this bit go to 0. So we're left with sine x. So this equals minus sine x. And that is exactly what you would expect. So f dash x equals sine x. And that is, as we know, d by dx of cos x. So there you have it. That's how you find the derivative of cos x from first principles. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you and thank you for watching.